coming in. Please, 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 Brian. I'm sorry. Sorry's not enough. <laughs> not this time. Another nightmare? Yeah. I think I'm just stressing about this deal. Don't stress, girl. You got a good chance, I think. Yeah. We'll see. Zach out. You have a visitor. Unlock cell He's saying he's... He's no longer going to represent you. I feel like a failure all around. S stop it. Stop it, Mom. No. It, I look at me. I no, can't no, no. Do no, right. no, no. No, stop it. Listen, I I'll just... I'll just... I'll just get a public defender again. Okay? No. That's what you did to begin with. And look where it got you. Yeah, well, um... Maybe the next one will be better. Let's just... Let's just keep faith, okay? Baby. Baby. <laughs> you may be seated. Calling the first matter of the people versus Elise Stackhouse. Please state your appearances. Jonathan Wilson, lawyer for the people. Thank you very much. And is there not a lawyer present on this side of the table? I think he's running late, Your Honor. I see. Well, we'll start with you, counsel. Please proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. My client, Officer Ronald Coote, was violently attacked by the defendant with a skillet. There you go, Your Honor. And prior to this attack, he was assaulted by the defendant's mother the night of June 5th, 2012. That's not true. That's not true. You know that's not true, Ron. Order. Order. Or I'll have you removed. Thank you. Now we know where the daughter gets the anger issues from. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Based on the responding officer's observation of the defendant's conduct that day, they believe her to be extremely violent, a threat to others. We have a photo of my client displaying the harm that was inflicted upon him by the defendant. Based on the evidence that I submit to the record today, the decision for guilt for the charge of aggravated assault was satisfactory. She's a menace to society. She's a violent human being. And she needs to remain behind bars. Thank you. Any word on your lawyer, Ms. Stackhouse? No, Your Honor. I, I don't know where he is. Oh, oh, good morning. I apologize for the delay. Court was 10 minutes ago, Mr. Thomas. 
Please state your appearances. Yeah, Ken Thomas. I'm the lawyer for Rochelle Smith. Rochelle Smith? This is a case for the People versus Aaliyah Stackhouse. Oh, right. Um, should have those documents in here somewhere. Counsel, this is unacceptable. First you're late, and now you're unprepared. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Your Honor. It's just that huh, I'm juggling a whole bunch of clients right now, and the office is going through some budget cuts. But I'm sure the paperwork is in here somewhere. Unless I left them in the printer. I'm going to continue this hearing. Ms. Stackhouse will get a new court date set for approximately 30 days from now. This gives her time to hire a new lawyer, if she so chooses to. Court is adjourned. I'm sorry. Ah, <sighs> well, you know what? Let's get together and discuss your case now that we have an extra 30 days. Uh, I don't know what my availability is, but... Actually, I think I may want a new lawyer. Great. <laughs> ah, one less thing for me to have to deal with. Good luck. I can't believe it. Do you want me to get you a new public defender? No matter what, you can't lose this appeal. I don't know, but I'll, I'll think of something, okay? There's no way I'm gonna let Ron get away with this. You know, the problem is, Ron is a decorated cop, okay? His people are gonna protect him. I, I know, I know they covered everything up. That's what they do, protect their own. Yeah, and that's what I was doing too. And look where it got me, 15 years in this I just wish that I had a solid lawyer who cared and didn't cost an arm and a leg. I only had someone. Well, have you ever thought maybe you don't need anyone? What do you mean? Maybe the only person you need is yourself. You're one of the smartest people I know. You could be your own attorney. No, no, that, that could never work. Okay, I hardly know anything about law. Yeah. Well, it's not like you don't have time to learn. You ever heard of Tanya Briars? No. Who's she? She was a person in a similar situation as you. She couldn't afford an attorney or bail, so she decided to represent herself. And get this, she won, and when she got out of jail, she even became a lawyer. Really? Yes, and if she can do it, you can too. It's either that or you hire someone that doesn't care whether you spend the rest of your life in this paradise. Who would you rather trust? Them or yourself? Alia decides to put her life in the hands of the person she trusts the most, herself. From that moment on, she spends every free minute she has studying law. She researches everything she can about her case. And eventually, she becomes a lot smarter and a lot more confident. She's now ready to use everything she learned in a real courtroom. All right. You may be seated. Calling the second matter of the People versus Aaliyah Stackhouse, please state your appearances. Jonathan Wilson, lawyer for the people, Your Honor. And good morning. Good morning, counsel. Thank you. And is your attorney running late again? No. I'll be representing myself, Your Honor. You sure about that? Very well, then. Please proceed.
My mother, Ariana Stackhouse, was in an abusive relationship with Officer Ronald Coop. For two years, I watched him physically abuse her. That's a lie. You saw the photo. You continue. I would, I would beg her to leave him, but she always gave him another chance. So I didn't get involved. But on the night of June 5th, 2012, I had no choice but to step in. You see, Ron had gotten home after a night of drinking. He was very aggressive, even more so than usual. That night, the arguing got so bad that it even woke me up. When I heard a body hit the floor, I knew my mom was in trouble. So I ran out of my room. My mom was on the ground and Ron was standing over her. He was about to hurt her even more. I panicked. That's when I did the only thing I could think of. I grabbed a skillet off the table and hit him with it. When the police came, we thought they'd hear our side and this nightmare would finally be over. That is, until we realized no one wanted to hear our side. Since Ron was a cop, they only wanted to hear his. At the end of the night, we were the ones in handcuffs, not him. I'll never forget that smug look Ron had on his face as we were taken out. So you see, Your Honor, that's what really happened that night. Come on, we have heard all of this before, all right? And the police report completely contradicts that story. I was the victim, all right? I was the one that had all the injuries. You will have your chance to speak. Right now, it's her turn. He is right. None of what you said here today changes the facts we have before us. So unless you have another argument as to why your case should be overturned. Oh, there's more, Your Honor. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, the constitutional issue in this case is the internal misconduct of the La Poma Police Department. Me, a 14-year-old girl at the time, was arrested and charged as an adult for aggravated assault when I was only defending my mother from her abuser. My mother tried to press charges that night against Officer Coot for domestic violence. But her claims were never addressed, and Officer Coot was never held responsible. Well, each officer's testimony states that they didn't have probable cause that domestic violence occurred. The only thing they did determine was that you were the primary aggressor. Exactly, right? Yes. yes, Your Honor. But according to Penal Code 243 PC, self-defense is a legal defense against domestic battery. And according to the Castle Doctrine, one can even use self-defense in defense of himself or someone else in the home. So I wasn't the aggressor. I was only defending my mother. Therefore, I should not have been charged for aggravated assault. Impressive, Ms. Stackhouse. But again, none of the officers found any evidence that Mr. Coot was perpetrated. So unless you have any additional information or evidence, uh, then unfortunately... Uh, there's one more thing. I have a witness. Who's that? Your mom? Of course, she's going to say whatever she has to to help you out here. It's not my mom. It's... Who's that? Ramirez. This is Juanita Ramirez, an officer at the Atlanta Police Department, formerly 
at the La Poma Police Department. She was one of the arresting officers who took me in that night. All right. We'll hear your testimony then, officer. Objection. On what grounds? Go ahead, Ms. Ramirez. Thank you. I worked with the La Poma Police Department for 10 years, and I remember that night very well. You see, at first, I thought Ms. Stackhouse was responding in self-defense. But then, I let another officer persuade me otherwise and went along with reporting Ms. Stackhouse as the aggressor. It sat with me for a long time. Something in my gut told me it wasn't right. And then I found out something even more shocking. It wasn't the only time Ron was involved in a domestic dispute. This was a pattern of Ron, and each time he called on one of his friends to clear it all up. They were using me as a pawn in all of this. And every time, Ron walked away scot-free. So you see, Your Honor, I came to find out there were many more instances of Ron abusing other victims. But when I went to the head of the department, I was told I'd make the department look bad if I said anything. and I may never work in law enforcement again. So I decided to resign instead. But when Aaliyah contacted me, I knew I couldn't stay silent any longer. The real criminal has to pay the consequences for this. Your Honor, everything you've heard here is a lie. I'm the one that was attacked, and there is no evidence to prove otherwise. Actually, I've got it right here. I've seen everything I need to see here. You little rat. I'm gonna call my friend. Enough! I'm sure after this, you're not gonna have any friends. Arrest him. You're gonna pay for this. All of you. Enjoy your time behind bars. In light of all the evidence, I'm ruling in favor of Aaliyah Stackhouse. Yes. She's free to go. I'm also going to launch a department-wide investigation into the La Palma Police Department to ensure that justice is served. Truly sorry for your troubles, Ms. Stackhouse. We'll figure out some equitable arrangement. And thank you, Ms. Ramirez, for your help in all of this. This case is dismissed. Stackhouse? Yes. Someone's here for you. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look who's out! Oh my god, it's so good to see you! You look amazing! You do too, Miss Big Shot Attorney. I've been reading about you all over the papers. It seems like everything's working out well. Yeah, well, I owe a lot of it to you. I mean, if you never... What did I tell you? The only person I need it's myself. But you still help me realize that, so I do owe you. Nah, you don't owe me anything. <laughs> Actually, wait. If you're offering, would you be able to get me a job? What? It's hard getting a job with a criminal record, which is actually something I wanted to ask you about. Um, now that you're an attorney, can you help me expunge my record? Wait, a job and free legal services? <laughs> I thought you said I didn't owe you anything. Well, just a little help with that would be. <laughs> oh, fine. Yay. Fine.